You see all this water on the tarp? And the reason why is because it has rained every day. But you know what? I got a backup plan. This is where we're going to plant our sweet corn. See how nice and dry it is underneath that tarp? So I've had the tarp down probably about four weeks. Been getting all sorts of rain. Look at there. Nice and dry. So we just pulled the tarp back and we're ready to get that drip irrigation down. Now that we've got our rows marked off, we marked them off on row spacing of 30 inches. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, which is perfect. Now it's time to get that drip irrigation tape laid down. Now we've got our drip tape down, our header line down. Look here, I'll show you a little trick right there. Get my shadow out of the way. I use a little small hose there. The reason I use that is it gives me room to put my fertilizer jetter in. Another thing is my neighbor is a cable splicer. And he turned me on to these nice cable splicing scissors you can buy at Home Depot. I believe this is the Klein brand. These things are ideal for cutting tape in the drip tape line, so I always keep these real handy. Yeah, I like to flush the lines just a little bit, maybe about a minute, two minutes. Get all that dirt out of there before I put the row ends on there. Yeah, so what we're doing is planting on every meter. Planting this corn on 12 inch spacing. Now, you could probably go six inches if you want to, but I did it one time before on 12 inches and had real good results. So that's what we're gonna try this time. 12 inch spacings, transplanting that corn in there. Of course, we'll get it a little deep, that's all right. So that's what we do when we have challenging times. We use all our tools. So we use our tarp when it's real wet to keep the ground dry, keep it on hold till we're ready to plant. We use our drip irrigation insurance against drought. It turns off dry, we got that covered too. So we also use a backup plan of transplants. And yes, you can transplant corn as another backup plan. So there you have it, folks. Always have a backup plan so you can be successful. We got seven rows there, about 30 foot long, which is gonna be ideal for germination, excuse me, for pollination. And uh, we should be good to go. I'm gonna put a little fertilizer juice to them, maybe heal them a little bit and get out of their way. So if you wanna know more about our products or you wanna learn more about vegetable garden, check out these videos.